Now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Corey Thompson. Good morning at 643, seeing some beautiful sunrises. But Corey, we know that's going to change by next week. Yeah, we have a storm system coming in uh, as we head through the next couple of days even. That's going right. to give us some unsettled weather. And so today's weather-wise question kind of associated with that. It's kind of a pretty straightforward one. Which direction does the wind tend to flow around an area of low pressure? Is that clockwise, counterclockwise, really any which way, or there just is no wind associated with an area of low pressure? Think about it for a minute. This morning we're seeing some lovely sunrises, as Jackie said. Uh, lots of clear sky today compared to yesterday's cloudy start for many of us. Temperatures in the 20s and 30s as a result of the clear sky. Everyone starting from a more uh, close together range. 27 in Waterloo, but as warm as 33 in Cedar Rapids, 34 in Iowa City. Wind chills feel more like the mid-20s, give or take a few degrees, thanks to that light breeze. That big difference where the clouds were yesterday, it was much warmer for a start. But everyone ended up sort of in the same place by the afternoon once the sun came out. And that's going to be a similar story today. Not expecting big disruptive weather over the next 12 to 24 hours. It's till later tomorrow when things begin to change more significantly. So we'll enjoy the sunshine through the morning hours, even into the afternoon too. But more clouds on a scattered basis start to arrive from the west by then. Winds during the day stay fairly light. So with the very pleasant temperatures, it should be an overall really nice day to get out and about. As we go through the nighttime hours, the scattered clouds that we have may start to diminish just ever so slightly, giving us a little bit of to start off on Thursday before more clouds return. Temperatures today for the 50s, uh, 54 in Fayette, 53 in Decorah, 56 in Maquoketa, maybe 57 down in Mount Pleasant. Uh, our normal high is in the low 40s, so we are still significantly above that, and we'll spend many more days above that in the uh, very near future. That area of low pressure to our southwest will be tracking to the northeast. It will start to uh, give enough moisture out ahead of it that showers will start to develop in southern Iowa first by the afternoon on Thursday, shifting to the north by evening. So I think later evening plans on Thursday could feature some rain during the nighttime hours in particular into the morning of Friday. That's where the rain will be at its most widespread. And so we'll see some fairly wet conditions for the start of the last day of the work and school week. Now into the weekend, by the time you head home on Friday, things may be starting to dry out, but the system is going to take its time to get out of here. And as a result, we could see some decent rainfall totals with it, at least half an inch, a pretty good bet for most of the area, especially the farther south you go down south of interstate 80, we could be talking an inch, inch and a half of rain by the time we're done with this, which would certainly be a good thing to have after a pretty dry February. Temperatures will be a little bit cooler by the time we get toward Friday, both some cool air wrapping in behind that system and just the effect of clouds and precipitation too. But notice that they don't change a lot between Friday and Saturday. We're going to stay cool and windy both Friday and Saturday as that system passes by. Next week, temperatures will be warmer. 60s make a return as soon as Monday and more likely Tuesday into Wednesday as a few showers make a return by then too. Don't forget to change your clocks too on Sunday morning. Weatherwise question for today, what direction does the wind tend to flow around an area of low pressure? Is it this way or that way or other ways? Did you see me drawing circles when I was watching? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll go B counterclockwise. Yeah, I know it's not C or D, so I was between A or B. I'll say A, just to mix it up from Jackie. You always just love to mix it up, but it just means that you got to uh, sometimes be wrong, unfortunately. Counterclockwise is right. Uh, it's actually just wind flowing from higher pressure to low pressure, but because of the way that the Earth works and that it rotates, that's what causes it to turn in in a counterclockwise fashion. Coriolis effect. Google that if you want to, uh, but that's why it's not just a straight line from a high to a low pressure. Your favorite effect, because it has your name in half of it. It does. It does sound like I know. Name, exactly. It's the best kind of effect. You got that one right on your test, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Corey. Yeah.